The Secret Life of Soil An Introduction Soil is the foundation of life on land, a vital resource that sustains all terrestrial ecosystems. It may look like simple dirt, but it is a complex and dynamic ecosystem, full of interactions and processes that are essential for life. Soil is teeming with life, from microscopic bacteria and fungi to larger insects and earthworms, all playing their part in maintaining soil health. This hidden world beneath our feet plays a crucial role in supporting life on Earth, providing a foundation for plants to grow and thrive. It provides the essential nutrients that plants need to grow, filters our water, and helps regulate our climate by storing carbon. Despite its immense importance, soil is often overlooked and undervalued in our daily lives. We treat it like dirt, literally, without recognizing its critical role in our survival. Modern agricultural practices such as intensive tilling and the use of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides have degraded soils worldwide, stripping them of their natural fertility. This degradation has serious consequences for food security, water quality, and climate change, threatening the very resources we depend on. Understanding the importance of soil and how to protect it is crucial for a sustainable future, ensuring that we can continue to grow food and maintain healthy ecosystems. By learning about the secret life of soil, we can start to appreciate its true value and make informed choices that support its health and vitality. The future of our planet and our own well-being depends on it, making soil conservation a priority for all of us. The Building Blocks of Life Unpacking Soil Composition Soil is more than just dirt, it's a living, breathing ecosystem. Soil is a complex mixture of mineral particles, organic matter, water, and air. Each component plays a unique role in maintaining soil health. The mineral portion comes from the weathering of rocks and provides essential nutrients for plant growth. These minerals are the foundation of soil fertility. Organic matter derived from decomposed plants and animals is the lifeblood of healthy soil. It enriches the soil, making it more fertile and productive. It improves soil structure, water retention, and nutrient availability. Without organic matter, soil would be less capable of supporting plant life. The balance of these components is crucial. A well-balanced soil supports robust plant growth and a thriving ecosystem. Too much clay, and the soil becomes dense and difficult for roots to penetrate. This can lead to poor plant growth and water logging. Too much sand, and water drains quickly carrying nutrients away. This can result in dry, nutrient-poor soil that struggles to support plant life. Ideal soil has a balanced composition that allows for good drainage, aeration, and water retention. Loamy soil is often considered the best for gardening and farming. The living organisms in soil play a vital role in breaking down organic matter and releasing nutrients in forms that plants can use. Earthworms, bacteria, and fungi are just a few of these essential organisms. These organisms also create channels and pores in the soil, improving its structure and allowing air and water to move freely. This enhances root growth and overall soil health, making it a dynamic and life-sustaining environment. A Universe Underfoot – Exploring the Soil Food Web The soil food web is a complex network of organisms that interact with each other and with the physical environment, creating a dynamic and interdependent ecosystem. At the base of this web are bacteria and fungi, which break down organic matter and release essential nutrients back into the soil. These microbes are then consumed by larger organisms, such as protozoa and nematodes, which play a crucial role in the soil ecosystem. These protozoa and nematodes in turn, become food for even larger animals like earthworms and insects, creating a balanced food chain. This intricate web of life is essential for healthy soil function, ensuring that nutrients are cycled efficiently and plants can thrive. Bacteria and fungi decompose organic matter, releasing nutrients that plants need to grow, thus supporting plant health and productivity. Protozoa and nematodes help regulate populations of bacteria and fungi, preventing any one species from becoming dominant and maintaining ecological balance. Earthworms are considered ecosystem engineers because they create tunnels that improve soil aeration and drainage, which is vital for root growth. They also mix organic matter into the soil, making nutrients more available to plants, thus enhancing soil fertility and plant growth. Healthy Soil, Healthy Food, The Link to Nutrient-Rich Crops Healthy soil is the foundation for healthy plants, which in turn nourish us. Plants obtain essential nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium from the soil. 
when soil is healthy and teeming with life, these nutrients are more readily available to plants. Plants grown in healthy soil are more nutritious and flavorful. They are also more resilient to pests and diseases. This is because healthy soil provides a balanced diet of nutrients to plants, strengthening their immune systems. Conversely, when soil is degraded, plants become stressed and more susceptible to pests and diseases. They may also produce less nutritious food. This is why it's so important to protect and nurture our soils. Section 5. Soil as Carbon Sponge. Combating Climate Change from the Ground Up. Soil plays a crucial role in regulating Earth's climate. It acts as a massive carbon sink, storing vast amounts of carbon that would otherwise be released into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas. Plants absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere during photosynthesis and convert it into organic compounds. When plants die and decompose, some of this carbon is sequestered in the soil. However, conventional agricultural practices, such as tilling and the use of synthetic fertilizers, release carbon from the soil back into the atmosphere. By adopting sustainable farming practices, we can help keep carbon in the ground where it belongs. Section 6. Regenerative Organic Farming – A Holistic Approach to Sustainable Agriculture Regenerative organic farming is a set of agricultural practices that focus on regenerating soil health, increasing biodiversity, and improving water cycles. Unlike conventional farming, which relies heavily on synthetic inputs, regenerative practices mimic natural ecosystems to create a more sustainable and resilient food system. One of the key principles of regenerative organic farming is minimizing soil disturbance. Tilling, a common practice in conventional agriculture, disrupts the soil structure, releases carbon into the atmosphere, and damages the habitat of beneficial soil organisms. Instead of tilling, regenerative farmers use practices like cover cropping and no-till farming to protect and enhance soil health. Section 7. Minimal Tillage. Protecting Soil Structure and Biodiversity. Minimal tillage, also known as no-till farming, is a farming practice that involves planting crops directly into the residue of the previous crop without disturbing the soil. This method helps to preserve soil structure, reduce erosion, and improve water infiltration. When soil is tilled, it exposes the soil aggregates, which are clusters of soil particles held together by organic matter, to the elements. These aggregates are essential for healthy soil structure, providing spaces for air and water to move freely. By minimizing tillage, farmers can protect these aggregates, improve soil health, and create a more favorable environment for beneficial soil organisms. Section 8. Cover Crops – Nature's Blanket for Soil Health Cover crops are plants that are grown between cash crops or during fallow periods. They are not harvested for food but are instead grown to improve soil health. Different cover crops offer various benefits such as adding nitrogen to the soil, suppressing weeds, and improving soil structure. For example, legumes such as clover and alfalfa have a symbiotic relationship with nitrogen-fixing bacteria. These bacteria convert atmospheric nitrogen into a form that plants can use, reducing the need for synthetic nitrogen fertilizers. Cover crops also help to prevent soil erosion by providing a protective cover over the soil surface. Their roots bind the soil particles together, making it less susceptible to wind and water erosion. Section 9 crop rotation breaking pest cycles and enhancing soil fertility. Crop rotation is the practice of growing a series of different types of crops in the same area in planned succession. Rotating crops provides a variety of benefits including interrupting pest cycles, improving soil fertility, and reducing the risk of disease. Different crops have different nutrient requirements so rotating crops helps to prevent the depletion of specific nutrients from the soil. For example, corn is a heavy feeder of nitrogen, while legumes add nitrogen to the soil. Crop rotation also helps to control pests and diseases. By rotating crops, farmers can disrupt the life cycles of pests and pathogens that are specific to certain plants. Section 10. The Call to Action. Supporting Sustainable Farming for a Healthier Future. The health of our planet and our own well-being depend on healthy soil. As consumers, we have the power to support sustainable farming practices that protect and regenerate our soils. Choose food from farmers who use regenerative organic practices. Look for labels like certified organic and regeneratively grown. Support local farmers markets and community supported agriculture or CSA programs. Educate yourself about the importance of soil health and sustainable agriculture. Share what you learn with others and advocate for policies that support regenerative farming practices. 
Section 11, Conclusion. The secret life of soil is a fascinating and crucial aspect of life on Earth. By understanding the importance of soil health and supporting sustainable farming practices, we can help ensure a healthier future for ourselves and generations to come. The choices we make as consumers, policymakers, and citizens have a direct impact on the health of our soils. Let us choose to protect and regenerate this precious resource for the benefit of all.